Hey guys, this is Paul and this is a video tutorial on the basics of controlling the game. The first section is going to talk about basics of maneuvering and uh, speed settings, those types of elements of the game. So I'm going to first talk about is maneuvering thrusters. In Void Destroyer 2, you can strafe in every direction. So here I'm strafing left, here I'm strafing right. I can thrust forward and I can move backwards. I can also strafe up and I can strafe down. These are very important, especially in combat, because you can use these, these, uh, these elements, these thrusters, to avoid enemy fire. If you're in a small fighter in the early stages of the game, like I am now, I can quickly maneuver around and avoid incoming damage. You can roll the ship using the Q button to roll left and E button to roll right. This, um, this can give you some advanced maneuvers, a little bit of avoiding projectiles, as well as avoiding other ships and obstacles. Now, a very, very important concept in Void Destroyer 2 is that you can set a, a cruise speed. So with Shift W, I've just set a cruise speed. My hands are off the keyboard and the ship is going to travel forward. In the many uh, more arcadey space games, there is a sort of a speed limit. In Void Destroyer 2, there isn't a speed limit. So if we reach our cruise speed, We can press the W button to accelerate beyond that. We can use the afterburner to accelerate beyond that. Right now I'm traveling at several times my cruise speed. And now to travel forward again, now that I've turned, my engines have to work hard to decelerate my ship and then accelerate it again. So that is a very important thing, is the afterburners. Let's demonstrate that again. Here's the afterburners. Very important thing in combat, or just uh, slowing down time. And again, while I'm moving at cruise speed, I can press the thrust forward button and uh, keep moving forward again. I can also set a speed setting for higher than the cruise speed just so my ship maintains the speed. So in combat, I can be sure that I'm always moving forward, avoiding potential damage, getting closer to the enemy, um, trying to outrun missiles, all kinds of all kinds of elements like that via, via, via these commands. So the Alt W increases the ship speed. Alt S decreases the speed setting. Shift S sets the speed to zero, and Shift W sets the speed to cruise speed. As you can see now, when I'm turning, my ship is going to maintain this this cruise speed. It's really handy because sometimes you don't you want to be traveling faster, but only for a certain moment, and then you want to decelerate again to to regain your control of the ship. Another very very important concept is turning off auto thrust. So right now I have auto thrust. That means that my speed setting is is being taken into account. But I can turn off auto thrust with Shift F. And now if I maneuver, I am heading in the same direction as I was before. I have total manual control of my ship using thrusters turning my ship but I'm still moving in the same direction. When I toggle that back my ship is going to thrust again to reach cruise speed. So toggling auto thrust is, is very important especially in combat. Let's say that I am targeting this gunship right here. Right now I have it in my sights but I'm heading towards it. I can hit cruise speed. I can maneuver around it while not, not having a chance of bumping into it. 
so you can toggle you can toggle auto thrust on and off in combat for for advanced maneuvers the next very important concept is overall travel and finding your way around the, the game world so to enter overworld I'm going to hit the enter key my ship is going to accelerate and boost me into overworld mode here I am in overworld mode you can zoom in and out using the mouse wheel and you can issue commands with the mouse so I can right click on an empty area of space and I can left click to go to that area of space I can also pan the camera using the mouse, holding down the right mouse button and rotating. I can also unlock the camera here and use WASD to pan the camera around. For now, let's let's have it locked. So I actually taken a courier mission, and to find that mission, I have this mission marker right here. I can pan around, zoom out. The mission objective is to go to this base. I can simply right click on this base to head towards it. Okay, so I'm getting intercepted by some enemy fighters. This is going to segue into basics of combat. When the enemy ship is close enough, I'm forced out of overworld mode back into ship mode. just hit time dilation so I can talk before the actual combat begins. A very important concept in Void Destroyer 2 is that targeting a, a ship is, is very very important. To target the closest enemy ship I press the T key. If you notice my guns, I'm in a turreted ship but my guns shifted slightly. I'm going to untarget and target again. Guns have a degree of auto-aim, especially turrets. So you always want to be targeting an enemy to actually have a chance of hitting them, unless they're very big and very slow. I'm going to go ahead and turn off time dilation. To fire your primary weapons, use the right mouse button. So you can see my turrets are tracking it. To fire your secondary weapons, use the X key. Here is some very, very important thing. When you're in range of your, of your weapons, this orange marker appears. When you're in range of secondary weapons, this yellow marker appears. You have very little chance of hitting your enemy if these markers aren't there. So be sure you're in range when you're trying to ship, ship, hit a ship. I'm going to turn off time dilation. And I'm going to maneuver and hit my target, including with secondary weapons. So you can see it's much easier, combat is much easier when you have turreted weapons. So it is a little bit of a struggle early on with the basic fighter. Make sure you upgrade that fighter as soon as possible. Make sure you install any turrets possible onto your basic fighter um, to give you this advantage. There's our, there's our bad guy. So now I'm going to try to position myself again towards my mission. And I see this marker right here telling me that this is where my mission objective is in the overworld. I'm going to press the enter key to once again enter overworld mode. And I can click resume last command to fly towards my mission objective. going to go ahead and dock with this base ahead of me. I can actually initiate comms via shift C and I can request docking permission. This isn't necessary to dock, however it does give you up these landing lights which can be great for uh, new players to let you know where the docking port is. To dock I select the base and I fly into it. There we go. This has been a very basic uh, mini tutorial, hopefully to help you get started in Void Destroyer 2. Thank you for watching and have a great day.